news and then I got about the fucking train. Bus. Put the mic on so Mo got like the biggest bento I've never seen a bento this big before <laughs> for the for the bullet train and Kern got a demuri sushi bento which I don't know what demuri is but oh Ooh, that looks yummy. Welcome to Nagoya! One thing you can count on in Japan, no matter where you are, will always be a Don Quixote. <laughs> don, don, donkey, Don Quixote. an hour to kill because we're kind of early so we decided to check out book off but not just any book off book off super bizarre what do you think of book off um i mean if you're into like like video game like retro video games or just old electronics a good place some do so close so this is a bazaar i might check out the clothes section but this one definitely has clothes yeah we'll check it out So we're done with book off. I got some clothes. I got reminded how much I love thrifting here because it's so cheap. So it's currently three. We're gonna go check in, drop our stuff off, and explore more. It's so cool. We're literally in the middle of a city, but there's this. Like, I love that. One of the things I love about Japan is the mix of old and new. I'm actually impressed. My expectations were very low for the city because when I was a teacher, all my students are from Nagoya. They would always say like, eh, it's mid. But I guess compared to like Tokyo, Osaka, or Kyoto, I guess? But it's very nice. Like it's very chill. I, it's very clean. Cleaner than any city we've been so far. Um, not many tourists, which I've noticed. People keep staring at us. But I'm impressed. Whew. Okay, we made it. We are at Hotel Keihan Nagoya. It's a chain hotel, but it's pretty nice. Uh, we had like a... Less than 10 minute walk from book off. Friends have always told me that hotel chains in Japan aren't the best. So I've always kind of stayed away from them, but they're really cheap. And honestly, this place is good for one night. Uh, maybe even more than one. I think we spent 6,000 yen for, for a night, which is like 40 bucks maybe, not sure, but it's a lot nicer than hotels I've stayed at in America. It's been hella cloudy since we got here. Like, it's so funny because when we're on the train, I was like, it's so sunny. But as soon as we were like 10 minutes away, the entire like area got clouded. So not the brightest day. But yeah, so we have like our double bed here. So nice, nice. You got a TV, got a humidifier. And yeah, that's basically it. We got some like your basics right here. I will show you the bathroom, but someone's currently occupying it but yeah so now we're just gonna rest a little maybe do some research on things to do and eat and yeah <laughs> There's so many towers here in Nagoya. They're really cool though. <laughs> so we're on our way to the Pokemon Center here in Nagoya, but I decided to take us on a slightly different route because it has like a nice little Central Park, which is actually literally called Central Park, just like the one in New York. But it doesn't exactly look like the one in New York. It's still nice though, especially the tower. It's a very big tower, very nice. I like. This 
park is giving a little bit of everything mm -hmm. and I like it. <laughs> popular in Korea. I guess we do it here too. K and F. Well, I gotta say I was not expecting it to have an open roof. That is really cool. You can just feel the breeze up here and the view even looks better because it's like open. Not much left till the tippy top there. I'm Definitely like, worth coming up here. Yeah and like for 1500 yen? Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> so it started to rain and instead of taking the train we're gonna walk and since we bought this this wonderful umbrella we get to try it out <laughs> metapod involves two I haven't used an umbrella in so long. Butterfree! Butterfree. Hey, wait for me! So that's it for our first day in Nagoya. But tomorrow morning, I believe we're gonna go check out the castle. Yeah, Nagoya Castle. Yeah. It's like a five minute walk from our hotel, so we're gonna do that before we head out. So we'll see you tomorrow. Are you ready? Another day, another challenge. So today we are visiting Nagoya Castle, which was built around 1610, over 400 years ago. I'm pretty excited because it's actually the first castle we're visiting in Japan together. Yes. I went to one in Kyoto, I think. Uh, mm. But you didn't get to go. So let's see what they got. I don't think the video is gonna do justice to how massive this thing actually is. Like, wow. <laughs> So those golden things at the top each weigh over 2,000 pounds. to a few castles in my life, especially in Japan. 
they all kind of look the same but no but but they're still pretty cool to look at you're, like, you're supposed to say this one takes the cake no <laughs> i'm not gonna say that like they all have a similar you know similar design but but they're still pretty cool to look at i would i would recommend people to visit they come visit japan to see at least one castle hmm. at least one some of the stones that make up the stone walls of the castle are inscribed with a variety of seals they were the symbols of the daimyo lords to distinguish stones of their property he owns that company now no no he does not don't say that So we went around the castle. How was it? I like it. It kind of makes me wonder what I would have done if, if I lived back in those times. Like, would I have been a ninja? Not not a ninja. You are not quiet. A janitor? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to head back to our hotel, pick up our stuff. And, and we're going to head off to Kanazawa. Yes. It's like a three hour train ride. And we had a few things planned, but we changed our minds. We're doing tomorrow. So for dinner, we came to get udon because it's cold and I want something warm. It's day three. We didn't do much after <laughs> udon yesterday. I don't know. It's it's very gloomy here and cold and wet and clearly we were not prepared for it. At least I wasn't because I brought just one flimsy sweater. So we didn't do much. Before we head out of here though, we do want to check out a few places if we can. The first one is actually really close to our hotel. It's a park. I forgot the name of the park. I'll put it right here. It's Magic Heart. Oh, they think <laughs> we have food. No, sir, I'm sorry. Hello, fish. How old are you? He ate a leaf. He spit it out. <laughs> We're currently just waiting for this restaurant to open so we can maybe be somewhere a little warmer and less wet and then check out the garden maybe. Maybe. It's it's raining quite a lot. Yeah. So it's windy. Yeah, it's really cold. My hands, my my little fingers, they're gonna snap. I don't usually drink coffee, but I need it. Some warmth. I need the warmth. I'm already kind of sick, so. You can see this thing coming up on your, yeah? on your sweater. <laughs> so I got a dish called Hanton rice, and it is apparently the Kanazawa specialty. It's omu rice, but with tartar sauce, I believe. Looks really good. I'm gonna wait for you to get your food though. And I got the Kanazawa cutlet curry. It smells bomb. It looks good. Oh my god, look at this curry. We eating good. I need this. So we ate, yet somehow I feel colder now than before. <laughs> no, it's colder. It definitely yeah. got colder. At least it's not raining anymore, so we decided to come check out the park. 
at the risk of probably getting sick. Yep. Right before the DLC. Yay. IQ Monument, uh, Akabato. This IQ is created by. Wait, the IQ is is just saying who created it. Oh, never mind. The IQ is on the rock. Th this thing is just explaining it. <laughs> the rock is super faded, though. Yeah, you can't translate it. I just see that. The first well, at least now we know this itself is not the IQ. It's it's on the rock. So according to Wikipedia, this is one of the oldest fountains in Japan, built in the 1600s, I believe. I don't even know how they did that back then. It's kind of crazy. But it's very cool to see. Overall, a very, very beautiful park. The Japanese word of the day is kirei, which means beautiful. And I kept hearing everyone walking around taking pictures saying that. Time to go home. <laughs> yeah, I think maybe it's a little too cold. I mean, no, it, it's pretty. It just, I wish I brought a heavier jacket and gloves. Yeah, I wish I brought gloves. Like, I specifically get cold on my hands and feet, and it's been rough. Like, holding the camera and the umbrella with no gloves. <laughs> 